In a previous tutorial video for Animate CC, I showed you how to show or hide an object using a show or hide button. In the comments for that video, I was asked to create a tutorial video where one button would both show and hide an object. So in this video, we're going to do that. The solution for this came from this Adobe forum where Larissa FC had already created the code and then Anastasia M helped her out with it. So I don't want to give, I want to give credit where credit is due. This is not my solution. We're just going to take it and explain it a little bit and use it and see if it works. Okay. So in order to first get this going, you need to make sure you have the object that you want to show or hide. It needs to be converted to a movie clip and then it needs to have a unique instance name of, of whatever makes sense for your object. Mine is star underscore MC. Same thing with a button, it should be converted to a button symbol and it should also have a unique instance name. This one is called toggle underscore BTN. So I'll click on my actions layer and open up my actions panel. Come back over here, highlight the script and do command C and then command V to copy and paste it into the action script. Now with this action script, we need to talk about what it's doing. In this first line, it's telling the project to hide the star or whatever the object is, and then it's going to listen for a mouse click on our button, and when it hears that mouse click, it's going to say if it's 0%, if it's transparent, make it 100% opaque. If it's not 0% and instead it's 1%, then it's going to switch it to 0%. So let's see what this means. Well. First of all, whenever you have a movie clip, you have the option to change the color effect to alpha, and alpha is essentially fading it in or out. So at 100% or 1, that means it's fully opaque and we can see it. At 0, it means that it's fully transparent and we can't see it. So in this first line of our script, we're basically saying that we want to hide this object to start. If you want to show your object to start, then you can delete this line, or you can make it 1 up to you. Now this instance name is not the same instance name that we gave our object for this tutorial video or whatever your object's instance name is. So make sure you replace this with that object's instance name. So it has to be exactly the same, same capitalization, spelling, punctuation, etc. So I'm just going to copy this instance name, go back to my action script and anywhere I see this com s, I'm going to replace that with my show hide objects instance name. Okay, and then the other thing we need to switch is the instance name for the button. So my instance name is toggle underscore BTN. Go back to the action script and change the instance name here for whatever she named her C button. She or he, I don't know. I don't actually know that. So I'll go ahead and paste that in. All right, so basically what we're saying here is the star should start out at 0% so it's hidden. Then when the toggle button hears the mouse click, it's going to perform this function name. This is just a generic term. You can name it whatever you wanted to. Just make sure that it matches this function name here. And then it's saying once it hears a mouse click, it's going to perform that function. And this is where we define the function. So we're saying the function of function name is saying if the star is at 0%, switch it to 100% else, so if it's not at 0%, if it was already at 100%, then you're going to switch it to 0%. So it's going to toggle that back and forth. And this is what we call an if else statement. So let's go ahead and see if this works. We're going to do command return or control enter on a PC. And as you can see, it starts out and the star is not on there. Well, it is, it's just at 0% alpha. Now when I click it, it should switch to 100% alpha and then 0, 100, 0, 100, zero. So it looks like our toggle is working. Now as you read through that forum you'll see that the person had a problem because they would play it and it would go away but all of a sudden it would just or it would show up but all of a sudden it would go away again. And let me see let me show you what was happening with that. So if I hit F5 on five seconds in that's going to extend the time or the length of the animation but remember that five seconds in it's going to loop back to frame one and on frame one, our action script says that the star should be zero. So when I play this and I click the toggle star, I'm going to click it, it's going to show, and then five seconds in, it's going to disappear again. 
So that's happening again because we have a loop. In order to prevent that from happening, we need to come to the very end of our animation, click on the last frame, we can right click and choose insert blank keyframe, and we just want to add the stop script to stop it at this frame. So it is not going to loop. So let's go ahead and try this again. I can turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, and we can wait as however many seconds, one, two, three, four, five, six, nothing's really going to happen to it because it has stopped on the fifth second or on the, what is it, the 120th frame. So it's not doing that loop back. So that should give you the perfect toggle switch to turn on and off your movie clip. Again, if you need any more tutorial videos on Animate CC, I have tons of them and tutorials on Adobe Flash if you're on an older version of the software.